Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Physics Ka Funda. Today I am here with you to present the fourth part of class nine motion chapter. So uh, let's see what we can discuss today. And before that, if you have not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe and please like and share my videos. Okay. So let's start today's video. Let's understand what is velocity time graph. In velocity time graph. It is like the distance time graph. Here also there are two variables. One is velocity, one is time. In the distance time graph, it was distance and time. Now you see, time is always independent variable. As I already told, time is always independent. So where you will place the time? You will place the time in along x-axis. Why? Because independent variables are always put along x-axis. And the dependent variable, velocity depends on time. If the velocity depends on time, then how to how to do, do that we have to yeah we have to put velocity along y axis clear now you see how to uh, uh, plot the motion okay how to plot the motion now you see if you have listen if you have uniform motion uniform motion in uniform motion we know that velocity is fixed fixed velocity is fixed in uniform motion velocity is fixed suppose you have suppose you have a car okay that car is suppose moving with velocity 30 km per hour is it clear that car is moving with a velocity of 30 km per hour understood now how how to put this this motion in case of velocity time graph you know the velocity this will never change why because i am telling that the car is in uniform motion if the car is in uniform motion then its velocity will not change if the velocity will not change that means if i take times one second two second three second four five six seven whatever i take suppose this is seven second in all the times you see in all the times your velocity will be fixed. How you will plot? Suppose this is 10 km per hour. This is not meter per second. I'm sorry. Okay. This is kilometer per hour. I'm making it kilometer per hour. The unit is in kilometer per hour. This is suppose 10. This is 20. This is 30. This is 40. Is it clear? Understood? I'm just scaling it. And now you have to plot the points. What points? After one second, what is the velocity of the car? After two seconds, what is the velocity of the car? After three seconds, what is the velocity of the car? After seven seconds, what is the velocity of the car? And where you will get the points? You see, in one, after one second, the velocity will be 30 only. Where the point will be? In this point. After one second, velocity is how much? This is one second, right? You see, this is one second. And at this second at this time what is the velocity 30 so this will be the point no? 30 30 times you will go up so this is the point clear next after two seconds what is that will also be 30 why because it is in uniform motion as the as the car is in uniform motion its velocity will not change 30 it was after two seconds also it will be 30 after three seconds also it will be 30 after seven seconds also it will be how much 30 km per hour. Understood? Now you see, now you see what you have to do. You will have to join all the points to get the graph. Now this is the graph of uniform motion. That means, very carefully listen. That means, for uniform motion, the velocity time graph is a straight line first of all but this straight line is what this straight line is parallel to what time axis clear this straight line is parallel to time axis now you see this straight line is parallel uh, parallel with what axis x axis and what is x x axis is x along x axis what it is given which variable time variable that's why we have to say that the graph Graph means that line, the graph is graph for uniform motion. What graph? Velocity time graph. 
Understood? Velocity time graph of uniform motion is always a straight line and it is. It is what? It is parallel to time axis. Clear? Now you see if this is a non-uniform motion but number two uniformly accelerated motion uniformly accelerated motion you have to understand this very carefully what is uniformly accelerated motion i have to make you understood that first then i will go for velocity time graph for uniformly accelerated motion understood okay now you see what we have to do we have to wait sorry we have to understand uniformly accelerated motion where i get this what do you mean by uniformly accelerated uniform means what uniform means fixed uniform means fixed Uniform means similar, okay? Uniformly accelerated means what it will be? It will be acceleration will be uniform. Uniformly accelerated motion. That means acceleration will be uniform. Fixed acceleration. Will be what? Fixed. In that motion where the acceleration is constant, constant means fixed, doesn't change. There we say that that motion is uniformly accelerated motion. Now I will have to give you one example and you will understand what is uniformly accelerated motion. Clear? Suppose same example I am going to give. Suppose from A to B you are moving. Clear? From A to B you are moving. Suppose after one second very carefully you listen at the point a at the point a your velocity was zero clear suppose at the point a the velocity was zero at point after one second after one second velocity is what suppose two meter per second is it clear understood after one second the velocity is two meters per second after two second the velocity is 4 meter per second after 3 second velocity is 6 meter per second after 4 second velocity is 8 meter per second and after suppose 5 second its velocity is 10 meter per second this is the case in this case we are taking the time interval of 1 second and we have taken the change of velocity by 2 2 meters okay 2 meters per second 4 meters so there is a difference of 2 understood so after after every second we can say after every second what is the change of velocity 2 meters per second if you take anywhere suppose i am taking this one this interval if i take if i take this interval from 3 second to 4 second what is the change of velocity change of velocity how much it is how much a change always remember change is what final value minus initial value change of what you are going to find velocity final velocity for this for this time interval what is the final time 4 second so at 4 second what is the velocity 8 meter per second this is the final velocity minus what is the initial velocity for this for this time interval initial velocity is how much 6 meter per second getting my point so what is the change of velocity what is the change of velocity 2 meters per second clear and you remember one thing this 2 meters per second has changed in how much time how much time 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 taken will be how much time taken will be 4 minus 3 second clear time also final time minus initial time so it will be 1 second clear it will be 1 second so if you have to find out acceleration it's v minus u divided by t remember v minus u divided by t what it is v minus u means 8 minus 6 we have got the value 2 meters per second and how much time it has taken 1 second so it will be 2 meters per second square clear 
2 meters per second square. This is the acceleration. Now, we have to check whether this acceleration is fixed or not. We have to take another time interval. We can take this one from 1 to 2. You take from 1 to 2. Here also you see, here also in this time interval also, 4 minus 2, velocity, change of velocity is 4 minus 2, it's 2 and how much time? 1. So how much time it is? 1 second, change of velocity is 2. How much it is? Acceleration, 2 meters per second square. Is not it same? Yes. So you remember in that, that motion is said to be uniformly accelerated motion. Listen very carefully. That, that motion is said to be uniformly accelerated motion in which the object changes its velocity equally you see changes its velocity equally in equal interval of time if you take listen if you take suppose if you take the time interval of two second now if we take time interval of two seconds suppose we are taking from three to five three to five in this two second what is the change of velocity 10 minus 6 4 now you take 2 to 4 8 minus 4 4 1 to 2 second 6 minus 2 4 all are equal that's why that motion is said to be uniformly accelerated motion in which in which the object changes its velocity equally in equal equal interval of time understood so you see this one if I have to plot along a graph what graph velocity time graph how we will plot let me tell you is it visible of course y axis this is x axis we know x axis is always time axis why why it is time axis because this is independent variable so it is in second suppose velocity it is in meter per second clear meter per second now you see very carefully you listen initial point means when the time was zero is it clear when the time was zero what was the what was the velocity time zero velocity was this is point a zero meter per second is it zero meter per second because i have told you that the object has started from rest clear if the object has started from rest then it's its velocity will be zero at what at the starting point at the initial point clear now where is your initial point in the graph this is the initial point because time is zero clear and at time is at the zero time means at the initial time velocity is also zero now so it will be the point clear this is the point clear now this is one second suppose this is two second three second four second five second clear 5 seconds until 5 seconds it is there so I have taken only up to 5 seconds now you see velocity it is 2 suppose 4 6 8 10 I am not given unit because I have already given it is meter per second okay now you see this is the first point where will be the second point after 1 second what is the velocity what is the velocity of the car after 1 second after one second the car has or any object that has velocity of what? 2 meters per second now. So that means in one second of time, listen very carefully, you have to go towards time axis. How much time? One second. So this is the point. And towards velocity axis, x second me kitna gaya velocity? 2 meter na? 2 meters. 2 meters per second. So after one second, it is moving how much velocity? The velocity is how much? 2. So, this will be the point. X seconds how upar kitna jana parega hame? 2 meters per second. Where it is? This is 2. Clear? You have to see the scaling. This is 2 written here. 2 written. So, you have to go until this. Point. Clear? After 2 seconds it will be 4. Clear? So, this is 4. After 3 seconds it will be 6. After 4 seconds it will be 8. And after 5 seconds it will be 10. Somewhere here. Okay? It may not come in uh, same line. But you have to understand this is 10 meter per second this is 8 meter per second this is 6 this is 4 this is 2 clear now if i join all these points i will get the graph how to get if i join all these points this one so i have got this graph okay i have not used scale that's why it is not straight but it should be a straight line understood 
Now you see what we have got. We have got that. Listen very carefully. We have got that. For uniformly accelerated motion. For uniformly accelerated motion. The velocity time graph is also a straight line. But it is not parallel to any axis. This is what? This is a straight line. But it is inclined line. It is not parallel. Understood? This is an inclined line. Now you see, you have to understand one more thing. This initial velocity was zero here. Initial velocity was zero. But if I tell you, if I give you one more example, if I give you one more situation where your velocity, your initial velocity was not zero, then kya hoga? Dekho. If I am giving you one more situation, suppose I am giving you the situation of from A to B. But at the point A, it was having some velocity. Suppose it was having 5 meter per second. Initial velocity I explained in the previous video. You watched that video. So this is what? This is 5 meter per second initial velocity. Then after 1 second, it becomes suppose 7 meter per second. After 2 seconds, it became what? 9 meter per second. And after 3 seconds, suppose it became 11 meter per second. This is the situation where we have an initial velocity. But in the previous case, we did not have initial velocity. Why? Because we have taken initial velocity, what? 0. Understood? But here we are not taking initial velocity 0. Here we are taking initial velocity of how much? 5 meter per second. So, abhi kya hoga? How it will be? So, we have to take the axis like this. Let me draw again. Okay. This is what velocity. Now, if I take these values, if I take these values, what you will get? See, suppose this is 2. No. Suppose this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Till 11 is there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is in meter per second, okay? You have to consider like this. Now you see, where will be your first point? Remember this one. In the previous case, first point was the origin now. But here is not. Why? In the previous case, at time 0, velocity was also 0. But here it is not. At time 0, this is time 0 now. At time 0, velocity was not 0. It is what? 5 meter per second. So your point will be not the origin, it will be what? This point, fine. Understood? This point. From this point, you have to start. Clear? From this point at 5. After 1 second of time, velocity is 7. Clear? 7. Understood? After 2 seconds, it's 9. After 3 seconds, it's 11. So, if I join all these points, I will get the graph. This is the graph. Clear? And you see, this is also a straight line. An inclined straight line. This will also be an inclined straight line. But you remember, this is not passing through the origin. Why? Because it has some initial velocity. So if you listen very carefully, if you have some initial velocity, then your velocity time graph will not start from the origin. It will start from, from y-axis. From y-axis. So this part, I can say u. Initial velocity, we always write by you understood and suppose until this it has moved so this velocity will be what this is the final velocity this is v understood this is initial velocity this is final velocity clear after three seconds understood now one more thing you need to understand last one because the video is becoming lengthy so for uniform motion for uniform motion this is the last concept i am going to give for uniform motion, what we got? We got the, what we got? We got, this is x, this is y, this is velocity, this is time. I am just writing it short. This is time, this is velocity. And we got, suppose, in, for uniform motion, uniform motion me kaisa mila tha hume? Graph. The graph is straight, but it is parallel to what axis? Time axis. So it is like this. Clear? It is like this. Suppose, suppose, suppose you listen very carefully. Suppose this car, this car 
has speed of or velocity of how much suppose uh, 30 meter per second clear 30 meter per second the car is having velocity of 30 meter per second okay so this is 30 clear this is 30 now velocity 10 20 30 clear 30 this is suppose 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 5 6 done 6 second and this car listen very carefully this car has moved suppose from a to b 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 second clear now for this time we need to calculate listen very very carefully what i am telling we are going to plot velocity time graph for the car and we have plotted and we know that this is a uniform motion why because the car is moving with same speed same velocity 30 meter per second so 30 meter per second after one second also it will be 30 this is the point two second also it will be 30 three second also also this will be 30 okay until six second it is 30 30 30 30 like this now you see if i ask you if i ask you what will be the listen very carefully what will be the distance traveled by the car in this time how you will calculate how listen from the graph how you will calculate you have one trick okay we have on one trick okay what you have to do listen what we have to do we have to draw perpendicular clear we have to draw one perpendicular and perpendicular suppose this one is the perpendicular where i have drawn towards time axis clear towards time axis we have drawn i am just going to explain how distance is calculated you remember in distance time time graph in distance time graph we calculated the velocity because velocity was what unknown here it is a velocity time graph distance is unknown so you have to calculate distance from velocity time graph this is one of the advantage of velocity time graph that we can easily calculate the distance traveled by an object by using this graph how understanding so for this six second we need distance traveled now you see if i tell you in this six second car is having uniform speed of 30 meter per second then we know that velocity is what distance by time or speed is equal to distance by time clear let me write here it's not visible it's distance by time so distance will be what velocity into time what is the velocity here here you see one more thing i'm going to tell you can say that sir distance and displacement is something else you're writing velocity so you're writing distance by time here we are going to explain uniform motion and we are going to what explain along a straight line as we are going to explain along a straight line so we will consider distance and displacement same okay we are considering distance and displacement same so we can write velocity is equal to distance upon time okay because distance and displacement is same for this case so velocity how much it is 30 meter per second into time kitna hai? 6 6 seconds so it will be 180 meter is it 180 meter will be the distance 180 meter will be the distance travel now this is what we can calculate from what from algebra is it by just using a very simple formula we can easily calculate what the velocity uh, sorry the distance travel by the object but but if it is not uniform if it is like this this graph is like this then it will not be easy for you if the graph is like this huh? what graph it is this is uniformly accelerated motion remember i already explained this so there uh, it is it is not possible for you to understand to find out the distance very easily now you see that's why i'm going to give you one easy trick how to calculate the distance distance is 180 meter now now i will tell you how we will get from the graph 180 we will get from the graph also clear that hmm? understanding if you have any query now you can you can call me it's okay i have I'll given you number now you see this if i name it this is o origin is always written by o if i name it a this point this point this point this is the point a clear this is b suppose this is suppose c clear 
if i say o a o a b c is not a rectangular is not it a rectangle yes it is o a b c is a rectangle now if i say this rectangle area how to calculate the area of the rectangle how to calculate length into breadth l into b is it length into breadth is the area of the rectangle what is the length here ab is the length can i ab is the length into breadth is what oa is it so what is ab ab can i say oc ab is equal to oc is not it into oa oc ka value kitna hai 6 second hai na oc ka value kitna hai 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 second 5 second 6 second you are going along x axis we are going along time axis so oc hame kya dega time hi dega clear because oc is along one axis time axis so we will get oc value 6 second clear into oa value kitna hai 30 what you will write oa is along which axis velocity axis so it will be 30 meter per second so 6 into 30 is 180 meter did you get this area area kitna mila mujhe 180 meter that 180 meter is not is not in the distance travel yes that means you listen very carefully what i am telling in case of in case of distance time graph in case of distance time graph if you can calculate the area if you can calculate the area of this portion that area will give you what that area will give you the distance traveled by the object now in case of uniformly accelerated motion let me tell you that one last one in case of uniformly accelerated motion this was the uniformly accelerated motion na? this was the uniformly accelerated motion now this is 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 second suppose this is 0 second suppose after 4 second you need you need what is the distance travel so what you have to do at 4 second now listen very carefully after 4 second you need to calculate what is the distance travel so at 4 second you have to draw one perpendicular along time axis clear you have to draw one perpendicular along time axis then this portion this shaded portion will have some area that area will give you that area will give you what distance travel by the distance travel by the object understood that area will give you the distance travel here no need to find out how uh, means um, uh, how the distance will be how you will get distance it will be very easily you can calculate the distance travel by an object by using a velocity time graph by using a velocity time graph understood <coughs> velocity time graph use karke हम क्या निकाल सकते हैं डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय ऑब्जेक्ट निकाल सकते हैं बिकॉज डिस्टेंस इज अननोन हियर सो यू कैन इजीली कैलकुलेट डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट इन अ टाइम इंटरवल बाय जस्ट ड्राइंग वन परपेंडिकुलर एंड इन दिस पोर्शन ओ ए बी सी शेडेड पोर्शन इफ आई कैन कैलकुलेट द एरिया ऑफ दिस शेडेड पोर्शन दैट एरिया विल जस्ट गिव यू व्हाट द वेलोसिटी सॉरी द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट्स सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड we have understood graphical representation how uniform motion is represented how non uniform motion is represented in distance time graph and in velocity time graph how uniformly accelerated motion this one is uniformly accelerated motion and uniform motion is uniform motion is plotted along velocity time graph and using this graph what unknown we can calculate that one we have discussed in the next video na, i will uh, come with a very important topic that is what equations of motion we are having some equations there are three equations of motion we will be having so you just read a little bit you just study a little bit about equations of motion then if i give you the video then it will be clear to you you will understand how to calculate uh, sorry how to derive in uh, equations of motion and what are the equations of motion what are the names of the equations of motion why we need equations of motion what is its importance because in science we are doing anything not for anything okay we are doing we are doing something for betterment of our life clear so that's why you see why it is important why it is important to have to have equations of motion that is very important understood so for today it is becoming too much lengthy so for today now it is okay this much is sufficient and um, if you have not, sub not subscribed my channel please do subscribe and share my video like my video uh, i think 
you have understood i hope you have understood this so i'm going to end today okay so see you in the next video bye bye